China held large-scale military exercises surrounding Taiwan and its outlying islands Monday in what it called a warning against Taiwan independence. China's defense ministry said the drills were a response to Taiwanese President Lai ching tees refusal to concede to Beijing's demands that Taiwan acknowledge itself as a part of the People's Republic of China under the rule of the Communist Party. Taiwan's defense ministry called the drills a provocation and said its forces were prepared to respond. Joseph Wu, Secretary General of the National Security Council of Taiwan, said China's drills have violated the basic spirit of the United Nations Charter to resolve disputes through peaceful means. Wu said President Lai ching tee has held a national security meeting to give clear instructions on the threat of China's military. And he believed that Taiwan's armed forces will appropriately deal with the threat from China. China's Eastern Theater Command spokesperson Navy Senior Captain Li Shi said the Navy, Army Air Force and Missile Corps were all mobilized for the drills. This is a major warning to those who back Taiwan independence and a signifier of our determination to safeguard our national sovereignty, Li said in a statement on the service's public media channel. Taiwan was a Japanese colony before being unified with China at the end of World War II. It split away in 1949 when Chiang Kai-shek's nationalists fled to the island as Mao Zedong's communists swept to power on the mainland. Lai took office in May, continuing the eight-year rule of the Democratic Progressive Party that rejects China's demand that it recognize Taiwan as a part of China. China routinely states that Taiwan independence is a dead end and that annexation by Beijing is a historical inevitability.那有关于今天早上的演习威脅其他的國家好像沒有什麼影響